hyphens, hyphens. Today we are going to draw a flow chart to generate the Fibonacci series up to a given range. So what is the Fibonacci series? The first number is 0, second number is 1, the next number is 0 plus 1 equal to 1, the next is 1 plus 1 equal to 2, next, next number is 2 plus 3 equal to 5. This series is known as a Fibonacci series. We are going to draw a flow chart to calculate the Fibonacci series. So start this is a start, this stands for the logical start of the flowchart. Next, I set the variables, okay, set the variables, set F1 equal to 0, F2 equal to 1, F3 equal to 0, comma, I equal to 1. Next, obtain the input, the range. It means 3 means first 3 numbers, 4 means first 4 numbers, 5 means first 5 numbers, 10 means first 10 numbers. So, for this, I am obtaining a range. Okay. In N. Input N. Okay. Next, I am checking. checking if i less sorry next next i have to print so next i have to print f1 and f2 So next I have to print F1 and F2. Okay, print. Print F1 and F2. If I print F1 and F2, F1 equal to 0, F2 equal to 1. So first two values will be get printed. In the range remaining n minus 2 values to be printed okay so here the page is not sufficient that's why i'm using a same page connector i'm using same page connector here the project continues okay continues from here the same page connector and that means i'm giving a label a that means the flow continues from here okay Flow continues from here. So the uh, space is not sufficient, that's why I'm using a same page connector. I'm using a circle here and mark it as a. That means that this flow is continuing from here. I am checking, I am checking, if, if, i, less than or equal to, n minus 2, why n minus 2, f1 and f2, get printed here, on 0 and 1, 
So remaining in the range, first two numbers get printed. That's why the loop should go up to n minus 2 only because the first two numbers get printed here. n to n minus 2. Okay. If yes means, if it is yes, okay, true flow, if it is yes means, yes means, what I am doing, I am calculating F3 equal to F1 plus F2. Okay. So next, I am printing the value of F3. I am printing the value of F3. Next, I am assigning F1 equal to F2, comma, F2 equal to F3, equal to F3. Next, I am incrementing a value of false i less than n minus 2 false means false means here I am ending the flow chart my stop ok that's it now I will trace the program so I am setting a value f1 equal to 0 f2 equal to 1 f3 equal to 0 i equal to 1 so input n for example I am using the value of uh, Okay, this is a tracing. I'm giving the value of n equal to 4. I'm printing f1 and f2. That means in output, this output 0 and 1 will get printed. Okay, and the flow continues. I'm checking i less than n minus 2. So what is the initial value of i? i equal to 1. Okay, I'm checking 1 less than or equal to 2 because n equal to 4 n minus 2 equal to 2 because we printed the two values 0 and 1 okay here that's why I am reducing the loop should go n minus 2 only remaining values remaining two values should be printed f3 equal to f1 plus f2 so here f3 equal to what is the value of uh, f1 equal to 0 plus f2 equal to 1 that is equal to 1 so print f3 so print f3 means next the 1 will get printed Okay, so I am assigning f1 equal to f2. So f1 equal to what is the value of f2? Okay, f2 so value is 1. So f1 equal to f2 means f1 become 1. And f2 equal to f3. So what is the value of f3? f3 equal to 1, which is assigned to f2. f2 equal to 1. I am increasing i equal to i plus 1. So what is the value of initial? So one, what is the value of initial value of i which is equal to 1? So i equal to i plus 1 means i equal to 2 now. Okay. Again I am checking. Now I am checking. Okay. 2. Y value 2. Less than or equal to 2. Condition equal to 2. F3 equal to F1 plus F2. So F3 is equal to what is the value of F1? Which is equal to 1. F2 equal to 1. 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Okay. Print F3. So next the 2 will get printed f1 equal to f2 now the value of f1 which is equal to what is the value of f2 which is equal to 1 f2 equal to f3 f2 which is equal to f3 what is the value of f3 f3 value is 4 okay f3 value is what is the reason value of f3 which is equal to 2 f2 equal to 2 i equal to i plus 1 so i is existing value is 2 i equal to 3 now okay it will check 3 less than or equal to 2. The condition is false, it will come out and the flow chart starts. So, in this way, this flow chart will work to generate the Fibonacci series of the given page. For example, my Fibonacci series is 6 means 
positive two values will get printed. Remaining four values, n minus two means six minus two equal to four. Okay, remaining uh, when i e up to four. Okay, remaining four values will get printed by using this logic. So this is the flowchart to generate the Gnasi series. That's it. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video.